The unprecedented convergence of our world's brightest scientific minds, coupled with robust government investment, is advancing COVID-19 vaccine development at a speed I would have never thought possible. But the development of a successful vaccine, or in this case, several vaccines, will not accomplish its job if we don't deal directly and quickly with widespread vaccine hesitancy. That's the hesitancy to get vaccinated because of false and misleading disinformation that's circulating through social media. We must aggressively counter this disinformation, and if we don't, we risk a perpetual cycle of debilitating infectious disease, coupled with persistent economic decline in all of our communities. So now is the time to make sure that all of us understand the value of a COVID-19 vaccine and the necessity of receiving it. Since the start of the pandemic, vaccination conspiracy theories have flourished, fueled by a potent combination of fear of misinformation and social media amplification. According to new polling, among adults who have heard of one or more COVID conspiracy theories, 36 percent, over a third, believe it to be, and I quote, probably or definitely true. Additional polling indicates that one out of five Americans, or 20 percent, would outright refuse a COVID vaccine, and 31 percent are unsure as to whether they would get vaccinated or not. To effectively beat this virus, we need solutions beyond those furnished by science. First, most Americans have a high level of trust in their personal medical providers, whether they're their doctors or their nurses or physician assistants. These medical professionals should proactively reach out to their patients and discuss the benefits and risk of COVID-19 vaccine now, well before a vaccine becomes publicly available. In addition to engaging individual patients, we encourage healthcare providers to seek out venues in which larger groups could be better informed about the benefits of a vaccine. I'm thinking parent-teacher association meetings or town halls or other virtual gatherings, all are opportunities to provide up-to-date and scientifically sound advice. Second, we must also invest in grassroots public outreach campaigns to those specific populations and communities where skepticism is prevalent. Heavy-handed, dry government messaging isn't going to do it. Not in a world where public opinion is ruled by tweets and sound bites. The messaging must be designed specifically for social media and carried by non-traditional messengers like local and national celebrities, religious leaders, influencers with broad reach. On top of these efforts, social media companies must partner with public health experts to curb the spread of misinformation, to expose those falsehoods driving vaccine hesitancy, and to stop groups that cite and incite attacks or violence at public health officials. With the surge in COVID-19 cases, it's clear that we need to rewrite the pandemic strategy and playbook. Beating COVID-19 will require non-traditional partnerships and new communication styles that will resonate with the American public and, at the end of the day, win the hearts and minds of all.